Yo guys, Calvin here with Zone Designs and today I'm going to show you how to make this paper and tape effect which is starting to be used a lot. Alright, so um, I'm just going to go ahead and make a new file. 1280 by 720 you can do whatever you want. Alright, so first I'm just going to make a little gradient by clicking the gradient tool. If you don't have that, just hold on the paint bucket and choose two colours that are pretty similar but they're not actually the same. And just drag across the diagonal right so now we're going to import our paper texture I'm pretty sure you could just search paper texture on Google images and it'll come up but I'm going to use the one out of Chrome Designs' graphics pack <sighs> a nice lined paper is good for this effect right so as I inserted I'm just gonna make it fill up a bit bit of the room on the page and just going to put it near the center right now we're just going to rasterize this layer so right click in the layer and just click rasterize layer right now I'm going to find my logo or your logo I'm going to use my graffiti um, which I made in Cinema 4D I'm just going to pop this in go put it in about the center right now mine's got a lot of complex edges and I can't read really just use the magic wand tool because it don't work around the edge so um, I'm just gonna press control and click on the little icon of the layer here so it selects all my layer and then go to select at the top modify expand 15 to 20 pixels is a good distance to do I'm just gonna do 20 All right now it's selected outside my text quite a bit and I'm just going to click the paper texture press control shift and I to inverse the selection and just press delete so there we've got the paper sorted just go move them a bit and then you press control D and it will deselect them right now onto the tape just grab the rectangle tool which is just here and just draw a little strip like I'm just going to do mine that big and I'm going to use a yellowy colour for mine. Just going to do a light yellow like that. Alright, next, just grab a rubber, but uh, quite, quite. Um, I don't know how to describe. It, but I'm going to choose the oil pastel large. It's called here, 63. And I'm just going to click it. It pops up asking if you want to rasterize it. Just click OK, and you just click on the edge it gives it like a torn effect so there we go and now press control T to free transform and just move it into position of where you want the tape to be and then I'm gonna lower the opacity to 60 so it looks more like tape and that's it this is the paper and tape tutorial thanks for watching it's been Calvin with Zone Designs and I'm out bye